What's up? My name is Mr. Trent from Boys and Girls Club of Marion County, and today we're going to be talking about song structure. So song structure may sound boring to you, but if you're someone who loves music like I do, or if you're someone who wants to make music, then it's really important to know these different elements of a song. Um, there's a repeatable pattern that happens in music, which makes up the structure, and these are what makes songs really catchy and are what makes songs super popular. So if you're someone who wants to make music, then knowing this structure is really important for you. The first part of any song is the intro. The intro is where if you want to tell a story in your song, you can start by introducing the story, or if you just want to make a song that's really musically creative, that you can just let the beat play so people can kind of get into the vibe of what the song is. The first, the verses of songs are where you can either um, progress your story if you're telling a story, or if you're making something that's musically creative, either just you know sing your heart out or write some really nice lines if you're making like a hip hop song, for example. But the verse is an opportunity for you to really show off and um, make the song you. You can really add your own personality to the song. The chorus of a song is what is super catchy and the part that you want everyone to remember the most. If you're telling a story, then this should be a short summary of what kind of is going on in your song. If you're making a song that's just really musically creative, then you should really try to make this part the most musically pleasing part so that way it's just memorable and it's catchy and this is the part that everyone knows and everyone sings all the time because you repeat it multiple times in the song. So. Then you get to the second verse. The second verse is just like the first one, but you can just do different lines and do different things with the um, words that you're using um, in order to make the song just a little bit more of you. If you're telling a story, this is the second part of the story. Um, and you go right into the second chorus, which again, this is the part that you want people to memorize. So it comes up, you get a quick break from it, and it comes up again. And it's gonna come up again, but not until after the bridge. The bridge is an opportunity for the ears and the brain to take a break from hearing the chorus so much and hear something a little bit different. So this shouldn't sound like a verse, this should sound like something completely different than the song that you've been doing. Either you can change up the rhythm, some people choose to change up the melody, or you hear like a key change get ready to happen. But this is the part of the song where um, it changes up just a little bit so that way you can get right into the third chorus. Because the third chorus is once again, you're really trying to drive home um, the part that you want people to memorize the most, the, the melody that you want people to be singing in their head the most. Um, this is the most catchy part of the song. And you end every song with an outro. The outro just kind of sums up everything or it's just like a quiet part and a subtle ending to the entire song. So that is the song structure of most every song. Um, check out a couple songs that you like on your own and see if they follow this. And if you're someone who makes music, maybe write a couple of these down. And if you're writing your song of your own, make sure you try to fill in every part of it to see, um, to make sure that you follow the structure that most songs follow. Thank you for watching this video from our virtual club. Be sure to check out this website for lessons just like this one, updates from your favorite staff, and for some fun activities that you can do at home.